Hey guys, in this video we'll add this biohazard decal to this barrel. We'll add it as geo instead of a texture to make it a little more realistic. So let's get started. Uh, I want to lay out some uh, curves for the uh, decal and I also want to be able to see it. So I'm going to make a plane, hide the barrel for now. And then on this plane, I don't need all the geometry here. I'm going to assign a new material. We will make a Lambert. and grab our texture and press 6 so we can see it. So I want to plan out how I'm going to model this and an easy way to do this is with well it's not the easiest way but I want to do it with curves because I want to show you um, how you can make decals or complicated geometry with curves and make it easier. So I want to line this up so it's centered I'm just going to line this up to this curve here. I can take this circle, scale it up like this. I want to make like a like a triple circle decal. And we'll just place it here, line this up. We can scale it down to like line this up and then make sure it's centered and then scale it up. I'm going to duplicate it, group it, control G. And then I can rotate it holding J like this and then shift D. Sometimes it duplicates properly, sometimes it doesn't, so we'll just hold J again and duplicate like this. So now what we have is this. I'm pressing Alt B to change the uh, background. So I want to be able to combine these curves now, and an easy way to do this is if I uh, go to edit points and see what we have here. So we have an edit point close to here, so I can select these two edit points go to curves and click detach. We now have this curve and this one. I can delete this one and I can do the same uh, here as well. Now I could have also detached them before. Uh, I duplicated them and that's okay. Uh, curve, detach and then delete that. So now we have these curves here. Uh, I'm just clicking history. I'm gonna freeze them. So uh, you go to modify, freeze transformations, and then modify reset transformations. They'll freeze them and reset them to origin like that. And shift all deal will clear history just in case there's any history. Now we just start combining these curves. So you can select two curves, go to curves, and click. Uh, there's a uh, attach. Where's attach right here? And uh, there's there is a connect and blend. So we're gonna try blend and we'll try without insert knot and then with insert knot. Hit apply. So it you can see it distorts the curve too much. So I'm going to click insert knot, do it again. That looks better. Uh, we also keep originals, which I don't wanna do. So I'm gonna undo it, turn off keep originals, hit apply, and we get that. I'm gonna clear history, then select the next two curves, hit apply. So this happens. And in, in order for us to force the connection here, you can uh, right click and click curve point and drag a uh, curve point left click and drag like this then click here and hold shift and left click and drag uh, to uh, basically force the connection here hit apply and that's going to do that clear history again now we need to close this i can go to curves and open the options for uh, open close and i'm going to do the same thing same exact options and hit apply and it's going to close it the same way. Clear history, and this is our shape. Now, I'm going to take the shape and duplicate it. Uh, move that curve up, select both of these, and double click the loft under curved surfaces. I'm going to, if I reset the loft, this is what it looks like by default. I'm going to go to polygons, quads, general. I'm going to set this to uh, isoparms per span and this one isoforms per span and set them to one. Like that and hit apply. I'm gonna get something that looks like this. I can then go into the NURBS tessellate under inputs, grab the U number and drag it with middle mouse button to make it denser like that. And that looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing is I don't need the extra uh, edges here. So I'm just gonna go in and delete every other. I don't need it to be so dense there. Control delete, and clear history. That looks pretty good. Then 
we can uh, go to polygons and click extrude and then we can take the thickness and push it in a little bit like that I can select the faces down here select this face then shift double click the face next to it and then shift drag a selection over the whole thing and we end up with this clear history uh, select the curves and we don't need them anymore we can delete now if I double click the edge loop inside here you can see what I'll get is a, um, a an edge count of 45 so uh, I want to be able to uh, close this off uh, make it nice and flat but I also want it to be quadded so let's do that I'm gonna make a plane like this and I'm going to double click the edges on the outside here and it says 40 so now I'm going to increase this to 12 and I will and double click here I'm gonna get a count of 48 so in order for me to make this 48 match this 45 I need to add three edges here so if I use insert edge loop tool like this one with insert edge flow I can add one in the middle here now I can't use multiple instead of this one because insert edge flow doesn't work on multiple I'm not sure why but they just didn't enable that so we have to use this double click here now we have 48 so now it'll match so the next part is pretty easy uh, I'm going to add an extra loop here like this and then select both of these make sure they're on the same plane combine them select this double click this and click bridge tool like that uh, bridge is also under one of these menus bridge right there uh, it's all twisted so we're going to use bridge offset just left click and drag until it lines up like that I can then select the interior uh, vertices here and then click uh, average vertices which is also under one of these average vertices there and you can just keep pressing G like that now I want to uh, actually have it um, smooth a little more than what's here so I'm going to shift greater than or shift period which will grow the selection and then I can I uh, press this button again, the average vertices button. Now I have the shape here. Now I'm going to unhide uh, this uh, plane here because this plane is perfectly square, right? So if you look at the UVs uh, for this plane, you can see the lineup exactly. And this geo lines up exactly uh, to this, um, to, uh, to this uh, decal here. So what I can do now is take this and then extrude it up like that. We can extrude it this way. I can double click this edge and this one. Shift, right click in empty space, click bevel edge, turn uh, chamfer off. This will give us a hard bevel. We can hold control and left click and drag the fraction here to make it sharper or softer. I want to soften edge, which is under mesh display, soften edge, it's going to soften it for us. If I isolate it, I can double click, shift, so I can click this edge and shift double click this face, and shift double click this face next to it, hit delete, and select that, delete that, double click it. Now we have this shape. So now I need to apply UVs because there's no UVs on this yet, right? So if I unhide the plane, and select this geo together with the plane I can do a planar projection and because the plane is larger than this the UVs will be forced to be projected exactly as this plane so we're going to do, go to planar projection set this to Y from uh, vertical direction you can see the Y is right here uh, keep image width ratio blah blah that all of this stuff doesn't matter and then hit apply and you can see our projection matches the outside of this so that means when we look at the UVs, it looks like this. I can then select this edge here, go to my UV editor, and then shift and click cut. So 
so I can double click uh, the UVs in here so I can if you right click and click UV UV you can double click uh, UVs like this go back into UV editor we can move them over like that and if I cut these edges here cut like that I'm also going to cut here as well because I don't need uh, these edges to be so long like that line this up here So if you want, you can straighten them out. There's straightening tools in the uh, in UV editor you can use to straighten them out. Uh, or we can just make them small because they don't really matter. Place them on the bottom here. And now if we apply a uh, blend to this, assign new material, a blend for now, uh, we're just gonna use a blend file. Use the same decal texture. We can delete this. Uh, plane. Now you can see it's assigned to this and the UVs match exactly how we modeled it. But now what I want to do is I want to make this part white. So I want to make a really quick uh, ramp shader. Uh, it's really easy to set up. Let's delete unused shaders. Take this. We can graph it using this button here. And because we placed the UVs for the edge on the bottom, uh, I'm going to uh, start typing ramp in here. Click ramp. We don't need the bin here. We don't need this either. Uh, if you if you can reuse the uh, place to D texture, you can just hold con uh, once you delete the place to, uh, to D on the ramp, you can hold Control, middle drag, and drop it onto the ramp. It'll make a default connection here, and then this will be connected to color. And then in here, I want to set the interpolation to none, and then drag this over like this, and if we move this over, we can see that as I drag this down, uh, at some point the whole top is going to get uh, turned white and the edges are going to be black. So I want actually this to be white because it's like the edge of the decal. So this is going to be white. And then in this one, you can see we have a color in here. I can actually just take this uh, decal. Uh, I can take uh, this decal texture and if I select this this one I'm going to make white and this one this is the top of, it, of the texture oh, I'm going to drag the decal right on top of the selected color that's going to make the connection and if we look in here it's going to look like that and it looks kind of messed up right now I think we should be able to make this a little better by going into Bake resolution, rebake all textures, and there we go. All right, so now we have a white edge on the on the side here, and this is nice and clean. All right, but how do we wrap this around the barrel? Uh, it's actually very easy. I'm going to use a couple commands here. So I want to be able to wrap it right on the barrel maybe like this big so first things first is we need uh, to attach this to something because if I just wrap this around all of these thick edges will get messed up make it thinner I'm gonna clear it. Uh, I'm gonna freeze it and clear history just in case I'm gonna make a plane like that now we're gonna snap the plane just here like this rotate it holding J in X like that and I also want to make sure that the plane is lined up to this edge so I'm holding V clicking this uh, direction and then holding V and snap middle dragging until it snaps to there and then we just need to make this slightly bigger than our decal and then also it needs to be denser than the decal in terms of geometry so I'm gonna make it nice and dense like that now the barrel that I have, 
is not dense enough. I don't want to add more resolution to the barrel, but I know that if I try and wrap it around, you can see these facets will show through. So I'm gonna duplicate the barrel. I'm gonna hide the original, and that's the one I wanna keep. And this one, I'm gonna subdivide just so we can use it for projection. Clear history on it, that's it. So now we need to test our wrap. Now, what I wanna be able to do is move this uh, plane and the decal will be attached to it. So I'm gonna select the decal, then select the uh, plane, go to the form, and click wrap. And to test it, you select the plane and move it. And if the object moves with the plane, that means it's wrapped properly. Then, I'm gonna t I wanna take this plane and shrink wrap it to the barrel. So I'm gonna select the plane, then select the barrel, and go into the form, open up the options for shrink wrap, and what we want to do is we want to do projection based on parallel to axis. And the direction we want, if you look down here, is the Z direction, because that's the direction that is facing us in this direction here. So I'm going to uncheck that, uh, turn on Z. And I don't want to turn on bi-directional. If I do bi-directional, it's going to project uh, back and forth, and I want to be able to control the projection, so I want to turn bi-directional off and then hit apply. Nothing's gonna happen yet, but that's okay. I can hide the plane, but I can still select it, even though it's hidden. Now, if I take the plane and move it onto the barrel, our decal will stick. We can move it around, and rotate it, and then once you're happy with it, you can attach it. You can preview what it would look like if it's smooth, like that. So if you wanted to follow uh, this closely, you can also subdivide the decal before you, pro you project it. And that's it. And then when you're happy with it, just select the decal, clear history, and that's it. Okay. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video, please subscribe and like, and uh, I'll be uploading more videos soon, thanks.